Friends, in this video, we will see how to download some important baseline data of your study area before starting the project. Suppose you are going for a agricultural planning, then important data you may need is like uh, forest cover, river system, reservoir, canal system. And if you are going for urban planning, you may need some baselines like highways or roads, streets, residential area roads, means overall road network. And then like bridges you may need or buildings or healthcare services or airports, railway line, ports you may need. Uh, these all data are available in OpenStreetMap and how to download those data in QGIS for your area we will see in this video. So before starting we have to go to your plugins and manage and install plugin. We have to install one plugin that is Quick OSM. You see, I, I have installed it Quick OSM. If this plugin is not installed in a computer, you have to install Quick OSM. So you will get a icon here of that uh, plugin, or you can directly go to Vector and then Quick OSM, and you can click here Quick OSM. Now you see, you will find some key. Like if you want, uh, before that you need your area, study area polygon. Suppose this is a uh, one Visakhapatnam district. You want to make some plan in this and you need your baseline data so you go to quick OSM plugin and then suppose we need like roads so roads are there in highway highway now you go to in click here in and layer extent and you have to select your layer like Visaka Patna this district I have selected then you can get all the roads in one go by typing highway here or you can go the categories in road also like main primary road, secondary road, tertiary road, cycle road and other things. So directly I am uh, getting this highway and you have to just run query. So see this is the highway means it is it's having all the even the residential roads are also available in this. If you want only primary highway then you can go here and you can write primary and also if primary and secondary you can add the query like add a new line and here you can go for or then highway and then secondary now in this by this query we will get primary and secondary both in the layer extent then run query these are the primary and secondary lines only and this highway will have everything another thing we can go like water body waterway here also you can go for category wise like canal dam drain streams and other things or we can go for all the waterway at a time so just run query so these are the waterways and you can go select uh, and by category also the like categories and in values waterway classify you will see canal river stream drains ditch dam all are available click ok apply. so these green ones are canal you can modify the color so these are the canals these are the streams rivers ok similarly if you want other things like point data like hospitals and other things that also you can get here you have to type health the health care click run query so these are all the healthcare facilities available other things like rail railway see these are the railway lines in your study area many other things are there like police station petrol pumps the natural uh, naturally you will get forest the reservoirs like this let's see what things are there see in the natural you will get go to the category and then value you have to select natural and classify see bare rock beach beaches coastline grassland hill heath then scrubland water bodies in wetlands and wood means uh, forest apply so these are the things available so these are the forest these are the dam reservoirs Similarly, many layers are there. 
you can explore by yourself and find out the important baselines for your study area. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.